For example, if somebody was uh, said to have his hand cut off, do they even get a chance to change or redeem themselves and to try to be a better person despite how bad the crime was? Okay. Do they have the right, like for instance, someone commits a crime that is worthy of having their hand cut off? All the rulings are applicable. Do they have the right to say, I'm sorry, I won't do it again? No. They have, there is a right for reform, and, but if they are, meet all the requirements, their hand will be taken off. And then they have the right to reform. They, then they have the right to reform. But the punishment is going to be there because if you had that type of punishment, I won't do it again, that is a system that we see will not work. We've seen that system played out here in America. If you have enough money, oh, I won't do it again here. Then I pay a good lawyer. They can keep doing it and doing it and doing it. That's why the recidivism rate is so high in America. Because the punishment is so lax in many cases. Some of our, even, some of our prisons here in America are better than 30% than, than of people live. Some people, people in prison live better than most people at the poverty rate. Some people go to prison just to get out of the life they were living. You living on the streets in a cardboard box, prison is a step up. It's a step up. So we see this refidism rate. If I'm living on the streets, look, I go rob a bank. One of two things is going to happen. I'm going to get a lot of money or I'm going to go to a better place. You know, that's it. If I rob a bank, I'm going to go to a federal prison. That's even better. It's club fed. So we see that system doesn't work. It doesn't work. If that person who's going to rob a bank knows that I'm either going to get away with a lot of money or I'm going to lose a hand. That money doesn't seem so enticing anymore. <laughs> and if you do it once, that really is not going to tempt you again. I have one... Well, you wouldn't lose the second hand. You lose a, a foot from the opposite arm. So you're going to lose a hand and then a foot. You're going to be lopsided and then you steal again. You're going to lose another foot. So it becomes a very big deterrent. You know, and it's, it's, it's funny, but it's, it's real. It's, it's not a joke. You lose a hand, you start to think twice about taking something else. So.